Okay, I'm with Jim Smith, uh, Director of Business Development with Goodrich Corp. And in the background is Aaron Olson, also with Goodrich. Uh, Jim, uh, what are we looking at here and what is uh, Aaron doing at the controls there? Okay, what we have here is our um, smart, smart display EFB system. Okay. And uh, what we have is a, a simulation of, a, uh, of an airplane uh, moving around on a, a taxiway and runway. And on our electronic flight bag, we have loaded up the Jeppesen Airport Moving Map software. And uh, what the Microsoft Simulator program does is it will output the GPS coordinates of the airplane that's uh, taxiing around. And we intake that into our electronic flight bag and then display the aircraft position um, on, the, on the map. And so what this uh, system is designed to do is uh, give um, situational awareness to prevent runway incursions on, uh, on, on airports. And um, recently, Goodrich has been selected by U.S. Airways to be part of their Capstone 3 uh, program that they received FAA funding for. And we're, we've been selected to provide the flight bag for their A330s, A320s, and then the Piedmont uh, Dash 8 fleets. Okay, and, so, and that'll be a class three electronic flight bag. Th that'll be a class three flight bag, and uh, so the first step is actually um, to do a surface area movement uh, management system, and actually um, that that's going to involve uh, ACSS. Okay, and um, the ACSS and um, U.S. Airways have a contract with the FAA to do some ADSB or next gen system. Uh, technology demonstration, uh, and then that would be the first demonstration, and they'll, I think there'll be at least three or four other demonstrations of different um, ADSB functionalities um, and ensuing tests, and as part of this five-year contract that those two um, entities have signed. Okay, and, and Jim, can you tell us how many A330s are going to be equipped, uh, and then how many units with the Piedmont? Can you talk about that? Yeah, it's it's 20 aircraft for each fleet, so okay. and that's pretty much all the A330 uh, long haul fleet for for um, U.S. Airways. And then it's going to be 20 A320s, and then 20 Dash 8s for P Piedmont as well. Okay, so it's 60 aircraft total. And as you said, we'll, we'll provide a class three system and that's comprised of two of our smart um, display EFB systems. And also we have an aircraft interface a device, which is, a, is a ne the network server. So that, that grabs all the 429 data um, and then sends it up to the, each of the flight bags. What, what do you see as the potential market for this? And does it depend on whatever FAA uh, decides for the next gen? Uh, air traffic modernization program. Yeah, um, I think the, the a business case for EFBs is, is, is exists right now with all the different applications um, that you can do from tech logs and charts and and the moving map. And I think now with um, the the ability to bring ADSB or ne next gen functionality into a low cost display into the cockpit, that you can you can realize some of the benefits from ADSB in now, where you can show. Um, other traffic on the display, and then also use that for um, uh, in-trail procedures, mergers and spacing, that sort of thing. There's a lot of benefits that I think that the FAA hopes to kind of uh, point out and uh, and highlight with this pro program with the U.S. Airways to to really show that there's benefit for airlines to be early adopters of ADSB technology and start equipping their their aircraft now because benefits can be seen right now. And uh, we're in the Goodrich uh, suite right now at the AMCA EC conferences, which are being attended by a lot of airline uh, maintainers and engineers. And what has been, have you, uh, has there been a, a good degree of interest from the airlines uh, passing through? Yeah, actually this is um, with, our, with our new system here, the first, actually the first uh, conference we've been able to exhibit this at. And there's been a lot of, uh, a lot of attention here. A lot of people have been coming in and, and do, practicing their, their taxiing and takeoff skills. Unfortunately, the, the, the landing skills are quite, aren't, aren't there yet. We've had a few crashes, but it's been, been a really good draw, and I think people have really enjoyed uh, the hands-on experience with the, uh, the simulator. So great. it's been great so far. Great. Well, uh, Jim and Aaron, thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Appreciate it. Thanks.